When visitors come to Cape Cod in the summer, they know what's on the menu. Lobster, fried clams, ice cream. But fall on the Outer Cape means digging a little deeper. For decades, the Bazano sisters and their family spent their summers on the Outer Cape in East Ham. Every summer, the girls were coming down and working in local businesses, and then when they went to college, they would still come up here and work for the summers. But in 1989, a summer job became a labor of love for the entire family. We ended up buying the, the business. Ken Tabor works with his wife Erica and her three sisters every day. Together they bake, decorate, and serve countless donuts at Hole in One Bakery and Coffee Shop. We do get phone calls uh, for tea times, but um, once we explain who we are, a lot of people like the idea that it is a hole in a donut. There are folks that did come in when they were kids. They grew up. They got married and they had kids and they bring them back to Hole in One. Chris hand cuts all of the donuts at Hole in One. She then was the hand cut donut cutter for the previous owners. More than 30 years later, Chris is still cutting donuts the old fashioned way, while her sisters, Jamie, Lori and Erica, are busy mixing muffins, glazing donuts and baking bread. Everything's made from scratch. We have our flavored donuts. The two donuts that we do have is the cake donut and then the yeast donut. We have crawlers. It's how you fill it with black raspberry, jelly, jams, creams. We do have those items every day. Next to Hole in One is the family's full service eatery, Fairway Restaurant and Pizzeria. Tabor says the two restaurants used to be simple summer beach cottages. They've undergone a number of facelifts over the years, but there's still that nostalgia of old Cape Cod. At the same counter, same takeout, all of the walls, ceilings, everything's the original cottage. And our latest renovation was in 2014 when we expanded the kitchen operation. Though there are more than a few cooks in the kitchen, Tabor wouldn't have it any other way. Working with them, that family feeling security, confidence, trust has a big play into the growth of our operation. While generations of hungry families have visited Hole in One for Donuts, the owners of a new dining concept in the next town over hope to attract diners with a worldly appetite. We call it global cuisine, but it's really kind of global street food. Michael Banghart is the chef and co-owner of Abroad in Orleans, Cape Cod's newest tapas restaurant. We've had a lot of people come in and, and say, where's the big plate of food with the big pile of french fries? We really kind of just wanted to deviate from the rest of Cape Cod food. We feature dishes from all over the world, especially the places that we've traveled. From the outside, abroad appears small, but the cozy interior transports diners to Africa, Spain, Asia, Mexico, and the Middle East. Co-owner and Wellfleet native Molly Kasikoff fills each nook and cranny with the perfectly curated trinket. I had a lot of things in a collective places. <laughs> Mom's basement, my garage, just kind of a twisted cosmic fate with some other things like that have matched up. From pho to papaya salad, Abroad offers variety with its small plates. Banghart says though the dishes are all from different cultures, they work together. There's nothing that you have one bite of and then take another bite of something else and go like, that doesn't work. They all really complement each other really, really well. I am inspired by people who sit on the street side and sell you something really inexpensive, but it's absolutely delicious. Karakoff and Banghart are eager to bring Cape Codders cuisine from their global adventures and hope that they too will come to love the food. It's an experience to travel the world with us, you know, travel around the world from your dinner table, from our dinner table. Wow, and Molly Kasikoff, who we saw there from abroad, she was a Chronicle intern back in the early 2000s. Look what she ended up. Look what she, she ended very up. very well. <laughs> she says she likes to travel to warmer climates, and the menu reflects that for sure. And Chef Michael Banghart, his favorite thing to cook is Mexican, so there's mm. a lot of Mexican on the menu as well. A lot of good stuff. Very good. All right.